Next um, panelist is Dr. John Shanoff, Director of Los Angeles County Department of Health Service. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me here today. Um, I'm the Interim Director of the Health Department in Los Angeles County. In the, in the Health Department, Health Services Department, we operate Los Angeles County USC Medical Center, Harbor UCLA Medical Center, Olive View Medical Center, and the Rancho National Rehabilitation Center, as well as many um, comprehensive health centers, ambulatory care centers across the county and health centers. In addition, we partner with community agencies that provide primary care across the, across the county. Um, we provide over 2 million visits a year, and 55% of those are visits by people for whom ling English is not their primary language nor their language of preference or where they have a limited English proficiency. Um, the majority, of course, of the those non-English are Spanish, but in order of um, in order of the languages, uh, we have, in addition to English, the top five are Spanish, English, Korean, Cantonese, Mandarin, and Tagalog. Um, overall, there are 92 languages, including sign languages, that we know of that are uh, that are spoken by our patients. Um, I will just very briefly tell you what we have done. I think um, we've made s some progress over the last couple of years, but we have to continue to improve upon that. Um, one of the major efforts that we have done is to uh, implement a video medical interpretation program. Um, we've, we've, we and other public hospitals across the state have determined that we it's, it's really not possible always to have persons who speak every one of these languages that we may need to have access to at every one of our facilities. So we can take advantage through video conferencing of the people who speak languages and can interpret and are trained for interpretation at various facilities. So we're linked in with the network. Um, this was actually piloted at, uh, at Rancho Los Amigos um, uh, for our system, but now all of our hospitals are linked together with hospitals across the state, other public hospitals across the state, to provide interpretation services. Um, and Korean is one of the one of the key languages that is available through that network. Um, the other thing that we did within the last year, and Supervisor Kanabi mentioned this, was that we have hired positions, persons who are specifically there for translation for interpretation. Um, and one of those um, is is Korean. And I want to introduce two people who are here with me today. Um, we have Mia Iwataki, who's the head of our Office of Diversity and Cultural Competence. Mia, would you stand up here? I think, I think those of you who have um, uh, worked with Mia through various Asian Pacific Islander uh, meetings know that she's been a tireless champion for this effort over the last number of years. And we have with us Teresa Yun Ha Huang, did I say that close to right? Okay. And she is she's stationed at Rancho Los Amigos, but she provides the services that I was describing by video conference across our system. Um, now that's just a start, um, and we we also need to pay attention to the the written materials that we have and that we provide in our facility to make sure that they're accessible to people for various languages. Um, but I think we've made a start on this and, and uh, be happy to take your questions when we get to that part. Thank you, Mr. Shunov. We're glad to hear that um, Department of Health Service is uh, doing a really good job helping community with the uh, medical interpreting technology. And we have already seen improvement through that. Thank you. 